Tuesday day. So I am back at Epcot because I want to get my pass holder magnets and I want to show you some construction that they're doing. Um, this building that I'm going to show you was originally supposed to be a people mover to take people from the front of the park to the back of the park. That never happened. So um, they're going to knock it down and make it part of their new garden entry. So let me turn the camera around and show you. There it is, all being knocked down. And the fountain, right now there's a, a bunch of bulldozers and such where the fountain used to be. All right, now I'm gonna go to Mouse Gear and see if I can find uh, Buffalo Plaid ears. Seeing some new merchandise. I've never seen these ears before. They're pink and they've got a little bit of sequin sparkle throughout the ear. Best day ever. I guess they're the best day ever ears. Cool, but that's not what I'm looking for. Sir. I'm getting closer. I found the Buffalo Plaid shirt. It's super cute. I don't know if I would get much use out of it living here in Florida because it only gets cold a little bit out of the ear. And there's some jammies. These are cute, the jammies. Not what I'm looking for though. Well, these are new. I believe these are the uh, countdown to New Year's ears. Yeah, these are the 2020 ears. They're really cute, but they're still not what I'm looking for. I'm currently so sad. It goes to show you that when you see something at Disney, get it while you can because you never know what's going to sell and what people are going to go nuts over and I refuse to pay extra price on it at Etsy or on uh, eBay. So I wanted the ears, the uh, buffalo ears with the fur and they're all gone. It's the entire property. The man just looked on his uh, little phone thing and he looked everywhere for me. He was super duper nice and he said they are gone property wide. So I'm a little bummed because that's why I wore all my buffalo today to go with it. However, these ears behind me, they are a 2020 edition for New Year's, and I'm thinking if I don't get them now, they're going to be gone forever. So to add to my collection, instead of getting the buffalo today, I'm gonna be getting these instead, so I'm gonna go to the register. Here's the thing about these millennial ones. See the bow? It's a puffy bow. I don't know if I like the puffy bow. I like the fact that it's 2020, but if I'm not gonna wear them, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. These other ones in front of me, I'm gonna try on too. So these say candy cane cutie on them. And I think I like this bow better, but I don't know that I would wear these really a lot. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have to make a decision. This, this I love. It says best day ever in sparkles. And then it has the, uh, the ears and the red pom poms. But it's 76 degrees here. I'm gonna sweat my butt off if I wear this. But it's super cute. I can't see myself spending on both. Although I am going away next weekend. Ugh, decisions. Okay, clearly I changed my mind and I ended up with the hat because I'm gonna be in DC next year and I can wear this in DC. I also have another one at home with uh, black ears and I like the fact that it says best day ever in sparkles. So right now I'm not super crazy hot as I'm in the shade, but um, it's gonna get, the temperatures are gonna start dropping soon anyway. So what the heck, it matches my outfit. So I decided on the ski hat instead. Also, I just stood online and got my pass folder magnets. I'm actually going to find out if there is still magnets at Hollywood Studios. I have it in my calendar that there was supposed to be, but then I haven't been able to find anything about it. So I might be going to Hollywood Studios. Don't know yet, but yay. This is a white eggnog porter. I think I might've had it last year. It's not as dark as a regular porter. Hence the reason they call it a white porter. It tastes like eggnog, it's yummy. All right, I think I'm gonna attempt to go on the skyline today. Canada. These are parsnips, which are my favorite, and the salmon. I figured I'd try that before I try the scary car to the other park. Okay, so this is the salmon. There you go. 
Mm, that is so good. Just so you know, holidays around the world, there are different booths in the different countries, just like at Winefest, where there's different holiday foods. So this one was Canada. subscribe button below. Give me lots of thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure. Bye.